So the main feature for this week, Night of the Creeps, which, again, I, as I said, I picked it. I put together a bunch of our stats from our movies. We'll cover those at the end of the show. Yeah, I have no idea how you how you. I will. Ex- this. I will explain. I will explain. Uh, and Night of the it's best not to know. Yeah, the movie <laughs> magic. Don't want to ruin that. Yeah. Um, so Night of the Creeps came out uh, in 1986. Our rating, one hour and 28 minute runtime. It is a comedy horror sci-fi-ish movie. Um, has a 6.8 on um, IMDb and on Rotten Tomatoes. 75% from the tomato meter and 70 from the audience. Um, so you said you had seen this. I'm assuming you saw this in theaters back in the day. I saw, I've seen this numerous times. Really? Okay. You said that you'd I like actually to actually own this Did on you? VHS. Okay. Yes. Now, now, when you first mentioned it, I had it confused with Night of the Comet. Okay. Well, I was thinking of the actress that was in that. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have seen both. I haven't seen that one as often. And I got, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, we just watched that. And then as soon as I turned this on, I was like, oh, Night of the Creeps. Okay, I got it. I remember this now. I've, I've probably seen it ten times. Where do you want to start with this movie? Because there's lots, there's a lot of things to discuss here, I guess. This is actually probably the best movie of the week. I, I like this movie. I've always liked this movie. It, it, is, it delivers exactly what it says it's going to deliver. Yeah. It's not supposed to be a horror movie. It's not supposed to be. It's just silly, ridiculous fun. Um, had the original Russ Griswold in it. That, so that threw me off for a while. Because <laughs> I was watching the movie and I was like, I have seen this person somewhere. Right. Where have I seen him? And so I finally pulled it up, I don't know, like 20 minutes in the movie or whatever. I and was, I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I have never been so glad as a character being the demise as, as his friends, CJ. Oh, JC. I JC. like JC. I hated JC. JC you couldn't like relate? Annoying. And no, I couldn't <laughs> because he can still walk. No, I could not relate to him. I could, uh, he was annoying. I thought he was the best part of the he movie. He was a loser. Was funny. No, Miss Perky was the original. Was the best. No, Miss Perky was the best part. Who was Miss Perky? Well, the girl that took her shirt off and with the Perky breast. There were several breasts. Alex movie. calls her Miss, Miss Perky. Oh, okay. The main star. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, um, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, no, the best. I don't know what the if there's the best part of the movie. Oh, actually, actually, the detective. The best part of the movie hilarious. is yeah, the detective, which thrill was me. yeah, thrill me. I don't know why he kept saying thrill me. Why was that his catchphrase? Because he needed a catchphrase, and that one hadn't been used. Yeah, Tom Atkins. Um, it's his favorite movie that he did. Yeah, I, I saw That's that. Kind of <laughs> I love the opening to this movie. Um, when they had the when they had the had the weird uh, what are they called aliens running around? I don't know. Whatever that opening of the movie this was, I was like, "What are we doing here?" Yeah, I, I didn't know because they there was zombies mentioned. There was uh, little creatures that jumped into your mouth. There was they. I don't know exactly. I guess it may. I guess the creatures. Went into dead bodies, reanimated them, and made them zombies. But you like the? Did you like the opening with the aliens? Yeah, absolutely. I would wanted more of them. He was dying laughing. Alex was dying laughing. He okay. was absolutely dying laughing. It looked like the whole. I don't know if you remember Mac and Me, but it looked like it would yeah. have been the bad guys after Mac and Me. Okay. Um. Yeah. It, well, I mean, they were. <laughs> <laughs> the set looked familiar. It looked like one of those other star movies that we watched. The set did with the, with the aliens. Um, Actually, do you know the part that made me laugh the most? Was when um, the main female character, lead, can't remember her name, when she's sitting there and the the the, the jock guy, and when he's zombified, yeah. and he comes to sit beside her and she's right. like trying to apologize and talking to him. That was the best part of the movie. <laughs> Um, I was dying laughing. The the payoff was great in this movie. I would have liked, of course, more zombies and more flamethrowers and shotguns. Yeah, but no, I get why we, why we didn't get a sequel. I mean, it obviously set itself up for. A it sequel. did. I was actually, in some respects, I was let down in this regard. When we started the movie off in the fifties, and it had that very nineteen fifties B right. movie vibe to it, I was like, oh, okay, this is the movie we're getting. No. And I, but then it, we jump forward to the eighties right. and get that. So I, I guess my in in kayfabe in movie universe, yeah. How did they get the body of the the, the main bad guy, the the original zombified person, okay. and why were we keeping it? 
I don't know why we were keeping it. I don't know who was keeping it. I don't know. Um, I don't know why it was at a university instead of an Area Fifty One at Corman is, University. At college, no. Yes, Corman. Yes, which was aptly named. Yes. Um, yeah, I don't know why they had that there. I just, I was like, oh, okay. I mean, I was, I just waved it away and didn't, didn't really care. But it was just an interesting thing to think about that. It was kind of weird. Clearly, they were keeping this for a reason. They must have known something about it. Um, uh, but we just we didn't get into that. And would you would you have liked to just stay in the fifties more for this? Because I thought it would have been better just no. because you would have had like that fifties cheese added <laughs> on to it. Bless you. Yeah, but that's been done. I was alright with it okay. before because you needed to age um, the cop, of course. That's true. So. That's true. Um. Yeah, it, it was good. Well, this is a good comedy sci-fi movie. Um, it was an '80s. It was a very uh, '80s movie. I have to say, man, I don't. Maybe I missed it in college, or maybe college was very just different in the '80s. But wow, these uh, the houses that people were living in and the the furniture they had, it was quite immaculate. Well, if you go to any of the southern universities, I'm, I'm you'll still the south. get that. Well, <laughs> the real southern universities, uh, and you go to the big fraternities and sororities, they are still like that. They have a whole row of the big old mansion yeah, houses, I, I think and uh, they have that kind of stuff. So It was quite intricate. It was very intricate, but that's like most of the, if you watch any of the 80s movies that deal with sororities, they all yes. have that. That same common room is just a big fancy living room. And the... didn't we get? Did I mix my movies up? Didn't we also get into some kind of Indian burial ground, or was that something else? No, that was something no, else. that was something. That was something else I watched. Never mind. I remember what it was. Um, no, we got it. We got the I killed the the crazy axe murderer and buried it beneath the cemetery. The sorority is. was what we got from this one, which, which that was really the the. Visual effects and the makeup and stuff, I really I thought was really well done in this. Yeah, they were fine. Especially like with the, the zombified mummy ex murderer person. I thought that that looked really well. And I just see where the whole shed scene was filmed later. Mm -mm. That was filmed, the whole little shed sequence was actually filmed after test audiences that said there wasn't enough action and guts and blood and. Thing. So they threw in that little whole action scene That's with the, the lawnmower and all yeah, that. Yeah, that was part. great. Is it is actually not an add-in. It didn't look like an add-in. It, yeah. it actually fit. Sometimes you can tell when they go back and just yeah. throw something in for the, for the sake of it. But the, no, I thought that I didn't know that that was added in. So that was uh, that was pretty good. Alex, how about this one? Night yeah, what is creeps. yeah? Alex, Night of the Creeps. Yay, nay. You're kind of our just a, a finger wave, a hand wave. Eh. Was this the best film you watched this week? No, you prefer high anxiety. Okay, you prefer he prefers high anxiety, which I'm very shocked about because I know you haven't seen <laughs> almost any Halford and Scott movies. Spaceballs is the only and the only Mel Brooks. Now, when I told him this was the guy that did Spaceballs, I think he was a little more let down because he's not a Spaceballs guy. Oh, guy. Spaceballs is great. <laughs> um, it's supposed to be stupid. That's it's, the point. That's, yeah, that's the point of the movie. <laughs> um, would you attend Corman University? Do I actually get taught by Roger Corman? That'd be great. If, if Roger Corman was my professor, I would go and sit in the class with Roger Corman. I actually keep wanting to challenge myself to watch every Roger Corman movie ever. We're, we're covering a lot of them on this show. So, <laughs> on this show. And one I pulled up the other day <laughs> and was going to suggest something, I found it his wife produced. His wife also was doing some of those movies. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's Match Made in Heaven. Uh, of the three movies we've watched this week, this is the one I would say I would recommend people the most. Go yeah. see, yeah, yeah. especially if this is the the a genre you you enjoy. Um, Absolutely. And yeah, it, um, yeah, just a good solid movie. But again, nothing here, nothing this week. Even Johnny Cool, nothing this week was terrible, terrible, terrible. Everything just kind of seemed very even out and average to me. Uh, my anxiety was average. This was, I think, a little above average. For the, it was an '86. It was, it was a genre. This was one of the top of this kind of genre films in that time, right? Johnny Cool, I thought, sucked. Okay, okay. So that's where I would. Well, that, that's where we are with, with these movies. Um, I'm gonna 
give you our stats for our first 100. We have now covered over 100 yes, movies. I need to understand where. Yeah. So I will tell you how we got to where we are now. 